As we have seen the course outline, now let's talk about the desired audience. The first set of audience are nothing but college students and entry-level professionals. They will get hands-on expertise with respect to data engineering by going through this course. They should not skip any topic or any section in this course. They have to go through each and every topic so that they gain required skills to become entry-level data engineers. If you go for an entry-level data engineer interview, the questions will be primarily on SQL, programming and Spark. If you say that I know Python, typically they'll ask only Python related programming questions and you should be able to crack the interview if you go through the complete course without missing anything. Then the second set of audience are nothing but experienced application developers. Experienced application developers are nothing but uh, Java based web or mobile application developers, Python based web or mobile application developers or JavaScript based web or mobile application developers. They might not transition to data engineering completely but they might want to build some data engineering related modules. And this course will cover some aspects of it. They can skip some of the modules and then they can focus on particular topics or modules and they should be able to get the skills that are required for them to build data engineering modules as part of their application development life cycle. The third category of IT professionals is nothing but the professionals from data warehousing background. If you are an experienced IT professional and if you are tagged as either a data warehouse developer or an ETL developer or database developer or PL SQL developer, by now you should have a transition plan to become a data engineer. If not, you are already lagging behind in the competition. That being said, this course is de designed for this kind of audience. If you go through this course step by step without missing anything, you will be able to pick the required data engineering skills. Leveraging your existing experience with these data engineering skills, you should be able to transition as a data engineer with ease. So make sure you have the transition plan and go through the course completely. The SQL module will act as a refresher. Python will make sure that you get the Python uh, programming skills. Spark will give you enough experience with respect to ETL or data processing using Spark at scale. Even for these uh, professionals, the course is apt. Now when it comes to testers, they might want to test even the data engineering applications which are built using technologies like Spark, Python, etc. They should be familiar with uh, these skills as well. It might add some value if they go through this course. Any other hands-on IT professional who wants to get knowledge about data engineering with hands-on practice can sign up for this course. Even though anyone who wants to understand about data engineering can take this course, this course is more appropriate for college students and entry-level professionals to get entry-level data engineering jobs and also conventional data warehouse developers, ETL developers, database developers, PL SQL developers, etc. to gain enough skills to get into data engineering roles. For those guys, their existing experience will come handy in cracking the interviews and getting the jobs they deserve. It will be a progression in their career.